before you talk, before you begin to talk, check the prophet who is talking. Check whether this is somebody that the prophecy always comes to pass. Or she just wants to talk. Check. If you check this antecedent, then you will be careful when you want to talk about me. Then you will be careful when I give a prophetic word, you will listen. I repeat again. I boast in the Lord and not in myself. I am prophet, Christiana Eunice. Christiana means Christ anointed. Eunice means God's power and victory. I will say this again. Now, the last time I spoke about your adultery and the marriage. Please bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. That's the message. Now, I spoke about your adultery and the marriage. A lot of people came out to say, is that the problem of the country? Is that the problem of the world? Listen to me, marriage is the problem of the world. For those of you who don't understand the things of the spirit, marriage is the bedrock of a nation. Now, let me give an instance. People of God, <laughs> The scripture says when King Herod tried to take a second wife, another wife, the scripture says the Lord God raised prophets, John the Baptist, to speak against it. That was even the reason why John the Baptist was beheaded. Is it not true? He was put in prison because Paul Almighty spoke to John the Baptist. He said, Go and tell King Herod. He should not take a second wife. Not just that, he was even taking the wife of his brother. And John the Baptist spoke against it. That was even the reason why John was put in prison. And with the influence of Herodotus to the daughter, when she danced before the king and he was, he was very happy, he said, ask me for anything. Hallelujah. And because the king could not go back on his word, the girl said, I want the head of John the Baptist. Now let me ask you, when David tried to take another wife and he killed the man in battlefield, Uriah, the Lord raised the prophet Nathan to speak against it. Somebody will say, what is your business? It is our business. For the fact you claim that God is involved in your life, the person in question, you're the judge, you say you're a Christian. Now, when you utter that statement, you never know that God in heaven heard. And God is sending a prophet now to talk to you. And the world will say, what is our business? Hey, listen to me. Marriage is the bedrock of a nation, of every nation. <laughs> From the marriage come family. Yes? From the marriage, children are born. And these children are raised. They are all over the world. You too, you are from a marriage. Your parents bore you. They bore you out of a marriage. Now I know why the Lord is talking about some, about this. Somebody will say, why am I speaking about it? Why the Lord is talking about it? Because a lot of young men and young women will be influenced. And not only that, most importantly, your daughter is somebody that is a man of influence. That is why the Lord needs to call you in order. And you call Jesus. You say you are serving God. The same God is sending the prophets. So I want to speak for the last time. I'm not going to speak again. Check my antecedents. Every prophecy I give, everything comes to pass. If there's anyone that is yet to come to pass, it's a matter of time. I don't speak. I hear from God. I see. I hear clearly. I hear the Lord open the vision to me. And I speak. So before you begin to speak, what is our business? Marriage is our business. Marriage is destroying the nation. Is destroying the earth. Is destroying from marriage. We give them to presidents, governors. We are. We want to contest for election now. Is it not marriage that produces the people that are contesting? Somebody say, oh, is, "Is marriage our problem?" It is our problem. If it is not our problem, why is God raising prophets to always speak against great men, their marriages? God will say, "Hey, what you want to do is wrong." Is that to Solomon? Solomon, these many wives you are taking, and the Lord said to him. And you see, the marriage, because of that, the kingdom was divided. You see, Abraham, God had to tell him, send the second woman away. Send her away with your son. I repeat again, I am a prophet. A prophet is the voice of God. So don't look at this appearance. Don't look at it as a woman. When you see the way I speak, you will know I'm not speaking like a woman. It is God who is speaking. 
Hallelujah. So check the antecedent. So I want to say this, and I will not talk again. You know, don't you hear me? Because the Lord revealed it again. And I even at the point I was like, God, please now. What is my business with this? Believe me, I don't want to. But the Lord, I know it's for a purpose. And to every young man all over the world. So that you will not say, see your little now. And have seen him, what happened. Let me take the same step. Don't take the same step. God is who you should follow. If he has made mistake, God is who you should what? Follow. Now the Lord is saying this, your adultery. Because of the, if you don't want to listen to the voice of God, because of the step you have taken, I also want to speak to Sister Judy, Judy Austin. Listen to me. There's a strange spirit now that has entered your adultery. He will not stop with you. Even if he doesn't take a third wife, he will not stop with you. He will now, be, he will now become a promiscuous man. That's what polygamy does. So don't think it has stopped with you. Because you too, you will be, you too, very soon, you will be in pain. You will be in bitterness because the strange spirit has entered the man, the young man. So what am I saying? You're like, don't you? This is the voice of God and I must talk more than this again. I know why God is asked, giving me the message because I have no business with this. I was asked, I said, what's my business with these people? Please, I am concentrating on, on this. And the Lord said, please, I send you, speak about it. I know. To every young man out there, please, God should be your standard. God should be your own standard. The scripture says, do not abandon the wife of your youth. The scripture says, do not offend your wife. Because it may lead to hindrance in what? In prayer. It can hinder your prayer. So you're like, don't you be careful. Judy Austin, be careful and stop fighting. Stop fighting. Because it's already a lost battle. You can hear the word of the Lord and you can choose to disobey. But at the long run, you will see the consequence. You too, you will fight over this man. Because something strange has entered the family. Something strange has entered. And if it's not careful, it will speak on the children. The children, even generation yet unborn. So this is the message to every young man. God should be your role model your standard. Everyone may fail, but the word of God can never what? Fail. So follow God. Follow God. Follow God. Lastly, I want to say, what your Edochi has done, the Lord totally condemns it. No matter who, who cites you, God says the Lord, the way John the Baptist condemned the marriage, the second wife marriage to Herod. The way Nathan condemned the marriage of David. is the same way God has raised me, your Ledochi and Judeus, to condemn this marriage. Yes, to condemn it. What is the way out? The way out is deliverance. It doesn't take anything. I say, no, I am sorry. Put everything together. No one is above mistake. Everyone makes mistake. But mistakes are what? Correctable. Let's say everyone, everyone makes mistake. But mistakes are correctable. That's my that's the way out for you. I'm not judging, I'm not condemning you, but I'm just telling you. You have made a mistake. Oh, come out. Your mistake will make me a better person. Your mistake will make you more great. You are old. Do you know what it is when you come out and say, please, okay, I've heard the word of the Lord. I'm sorry, God. People of God, I'm sorry. And please, I'm sorry, forgive me. Ah. The world will salute you. Hello? Uh, the world will what? Salute you. They'll say, mm, indeed, like David, you're a great man. David came out and said, oh, it's true. I'm sorry, I've sinned. And he was saluted. So that is it. Marriage is the bedrock of a nation. So your letter this is your own marriage. This one, God condemn her. Hallelujah. I don't know about that, so, but I'm saying your own, the one God sent me. This one, God was condemned. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen.